Hi everyone, welcome to the next weekly tech tip and to continue uh, the chain session from the last weekly tech tip. So uh, short recap, we already defined this uh, turning chain here with the property uh, for the tool change and the machine type. And now we have to tell during the post processing um, which chain should be active. So for that, what we have in uh, post configurator, when you edit a chain, you automatically get those chain mapping conditions here. So, and when you take a look into that, you will see you have uh, conditions here. So that means it's a prior one condition, which channel is a channel one, channel two, in case of multi-channel machines. Um, what is maybe the main MCS, condition two, condition three, what is the machine mode? Condition four, what is the carrier name? So basically what you do, um, it's like, like this. You enter the number here. For example, if um, channel uh, one, or is, if the operation is under channel one, then the turn ID should be active. So that is basically how it's work. Uh, we have one challenge here. Um, the priorities. Um, so for example, if I just say okay mo mo machine mode um, it's a, a turn right then i want to activate my turn id chain so the challenge here is we um we we look priority for priority from the standard libraries that means if priority one is empty automatically the default chain will be active so that means it will not reach this point what we have to do if we want to uh, make the mom machine mode as a priority one, then we have to reorder those conditions here. So let's do that quickly. And uh, the last time I mentioned this uh, training uh, documentation material. Uh, where's my folder? Oh, it's on the other screen. Come here to me, please. So, and I just opened this PDF document and uh, you can easily grab it from there. So there is on page, uh, let me take a look. Uh, here we have it. <clears throat> we have uh, on page, uh, which page is it? <laughs> 14. <laughs> um, you have those things here to reorder the priority. And uh, you also can use own variables, by the way. So for example, if you want to control it by user-defined event, and you can also add your own variable, this is just the out of the box uh, pre-implementation, I would say. So let me grab the, the text here and then go back to my TCL, this Milton TCL here, where we already have defined the chain, paste it. So, and you do this in the sourcing level. You don't do that in a, in a procedure on a, or call it in a start of program. You directly do it in the sourcing level. So in this uh, context here, I want to have my machine mode as a first priority. That means I just give it an index of zero. Then maybe the carrier name is uh, at second interest, channel ID, maybe on the third interest and the main MCS, my, it's my last interest. Maybe to, to have it a little bit uh, more nicer here, um, let's do it this way. So then we, it's much more clear. So with this variable, you set the priority. If I now click OK, take a look on the UI here, and you will see those priorities are changed now. Now my turning, is the first priority, and in this case, I want to activate the turn ID where I have to define the tool change by name. So let's save the modification. So turning chain, let's double check that we um, have the tool change by name. Yes, we have. You also see <clears throat> when you defined a chain, you will also see the chain mapping here in the chain, and it will give you the values under which condition it will be active. So let's post process. Turning operation, I would expect now a tool change by name. That's great. And let's post process uh, milling operation, post process. And I would expect the tool change by number. Wow, that's, that's really great. That's so easy to do. So uh, let's uh, do it with a uh, second property. 
um, for example, the diameter mode, right? Um, currently, the coordinates when, when I post process here, let's uh, take a look again. Uh, let's take a look. It's uh, x75. Uh, so it not looks like a dia mode. Uh, and we can say, OK, x factor for turning. You see it's a radius. No, I want to have it in a diameter. So add to the chain. Go to my output settings here. Switch it, output diameter. Save it. Post process. And now I get my diameter code, which is, uh, I think, the most of machine operators are familiar in uh, turning mode. OK, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like it, I'm also happy to get a like from you. Bye.